Welcome back. As many of you know, this is Reggae Month in Jamaica, and as we reflect on the legacy of the music, today we are joined by a veteran musician, band leader, Frankie Campbell, who is busy preparing for a concert at which reggae meets R&B. Frankie Campbell, right now, right here on our stage. Frankie. Hi, Dean. Welcome, sir. Good to have Hi. you. All right, Frankie, could you sum up for me the, the Reggae Month Celebration so far. I know you're part of the organizing committee yeah, and so on. Yeah, um, it's been going. It it's going? been going very well. Um, mm -hmm. As you know, we're at the park every Wednesday. Apart from last night, um, the Wednesday gone, mm -hmm. we were at Brandon Williams Entertainment Center. As a matter of fact, next year we're moving to all the entire month yes. to Brandon Williams. So we want to make it into, make it into an entire reggae village. Okay. And so every night we're having activities there. But this year. Um, we st we're still at the park for most, most nights. Mm -hmm. The last Wednesday, this week coming up, we'll be back at the park. But, but this Wednesday gone, we were at um, Randy Williams. And it's been pretty good. Um, lots of bands, lots of artists performing, lots of young talent coming through. Okay. Trying to expose as many of the young talent as you know, we possibly can. Yes, um, and, uh, and when you look back at the over 50 years of reggae, how would you sum up the, the progress of the music? Well, it, it actually has stalled a bit because mm. if you notice internationally, the two big charts that we um, judge ourselves by, the American and the British charts, we haven't had a hit on those charts for a few years since Sean and Shaggy. Mm. Um, so we have kind of stalled, but, that's, but I'm very hopeful. Mm. I see a lot of progress to the younger persons coming up, people like Chronix and so a lot of the young bands and artists coming through now. Because you know, there, have been, there has been a big resurgence of mm -hmm. the Muslim music since over the last 10 years. And I see a lot of, you know, I, I'm very optimistic about what's going to be happening in the future. Um, but we, de we definitely need to do something about the music currently because this is the longest period we've never had a hit, you know. Oh. Okay, yes. The, our first big um, Jamaican reggae song was um, Israelites by Desmond Decker. Mm -hmm. Get up in the morning, sleeping for red sun, so that the The first Jamaican hit was, of course, by Millie Small. And that was back, back in the 60s, Millie Small. 60, Millie Small was early, Decker early. was also 69. late 60, 60, And then 30. since then, just about every year, we'd have had a hit record, if not America, but oh. England. Oh, yeah. Almost every year, right through people up like to, Ken Booth and all these people coming mm -hmm. up. You know, um, up to Shaggy, uh, Sean, Paul. Yes. Um, so the last five, seven years have been a bit disappointed. Disappointing in terms of hit recordings, mm -hmm. reggae. You know, but um, I, like I said, the young people are coming through now, and we see a lot of good talent. Okay. And of course, like what Tessan did. Right. But, um, what Tessan did for Jamaica, and, and from, she didn't really sing that much reggae songs, but what it showed was that we have a lot of talented yeah, the, the talent Americans is, who, are is probably, vast. who are probably not getting the breaks. Okay, yes. So that's what Tessan really showed the rest of the world, oh. that we can sing just about anything we want to sing, because she sang reggae. She sang rock, mm -hmm. she sang R&B, she sang just about every, all, all genres of music on the show. This tremendous win by Tessa and Chin has not only brought into the international mainstream talents like hers from Jamaica but it has also reinvigorated, or should, some would say even spawned a whole new slew of such talents here in Jamaica, yeah, like Nikisha Barnes, yeah, who has just joined us. Welcome, oh. Nikisha. Thank you for having me. Yeah, somebody like Nikisha here, who, as we know, was, is very talented. Yes. As, uh, has always been talented. And on the back burner, so to speak. Yes. But no, she, she can't come forward because of what, of what Tessan has done. A lot of the young girls, not just girls, but some of the guys who probably are not traditional reggae singers, will feel as if they can now step forward once they technically can sing as Tessan can do. Because mm -hmm. she's a technically good singer. Is it making a difference for you, um, the win, the Tessan win? Of course it is. I mean, people always assume that we were unable to sing different genres of music. Yes. So what Tessan did was show that beyond just reggae, yes. we're able to fuse rock, we're yes. able to fuse pop. We can even go into dance music. 
Yeah. So for me, it's a big opening of the doors for us as younger artists and as female artists as well mm -hmm. to vocally step out and just own the world. Yes, in Jamaica here, do you feel a, a, a difference in how you're being responded to locally? Yes, there is a big difference in terms of people are now more open to listening to what I call a reggae soul. Okay. People are more understanding that when I perform or when persons like Tessan perform, it's beyond just the technical vocal aspect. Now it gets into emotions because mm. now we're speaking into reggae music, that soul, mm. that raw energy of the music. Isn't it in some ways, Frankie, going back to the roots of reggae? Yeah, definitely. That, that's musicians we were musicians. That's how we started. Yes. And back in the day, you had to be a great singer to get the work. John Holt and all these people oh, were great yeah. singers. Alton oh, Ellis. Gosh. These people could sing. And those persons got the jobs. Mm -hmm. And those persons got the recording contracts. So it really, I guess it's all 360 in degrees right or wrong. Yes. So now, we're not saying that the, the stylists, the reggae stylists will not, of course they'll always be there. You know, the DJs and stuff. We, we cannot, we'll never get rid of them. They are the mainstay, but now good singers, like the kitchen beside me and other singers like that, they, will, they hopefully will get more contracts and more recordings. Anyway, the stations will pay the records. Of course. Yes. There's far more respect. Yeah. One person, Tess and Chin, changing the Jamaican yeah. music world. Definitely, yeah. So, how would you sum up your career now, Nikisha? Nikisha? I think it's, I'm very excited. Yes. I think there's so much that we can offer from our little island of Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I think we no longer have to wait for somebody like Ariana mm -hmm. to bring our music to the fore. I think people are now looking to Jamaica for the next thing. As Frankie said earlier, we haven't had a Jamaican artist to claim that So are you spot. looking in that direction? You yourself? Of course. As an artist, looking, who wouldn't be looking towards that spot? If the voice calls you or if you can get a half a chance. I pray about the chance, voice. I going. pray. I pray about the voice. <laughs> so you're actually actively pray. going after that voice? <laughs> Not really. I think God has a path for me that probably is a different, from, different from the voice in mm. terms of I want the billboards. I yes. want the Grammys. Yeah, yeah. I think I've done we enough talent mainstream. show. I want mainstream. And yes. I know that we can do it. If we're given the opportunity in terms of radio, if we're given the opportunity in terms of the international airplay and, and even like social media, if we're allowed the opportunity to okay. transcend. So how ready are you right now? How, where are you oh now my gosh. In, in relation to that? I think I'm being prepared for it mm -hmm. because I know that there's something special about this year and my music. Oh, yes. There's of, something uh, extremely of course, special. We're going to be seeing our, all right, at the yes. show. Yes. Of yes. course, we're going to be seeing our <laughs> Listen, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Good segue. No, remember, <laughs> I am the band playing, right? Yes. The top five, and I'm excited. Yes, yes. About and, and just, just to, the key to bring up yours in. <laughs> we're talking about the show, this reggae meets R&B show, yes. which was really titled. The show is really. Um, R&B reggae concert and it's happening at JC. And of course it stars Percy Sledge. Yes. You no know, Percy in the first 30 years of pop music. Mm -hmm. um, it certainly has to be one of the top, well, in the top 10 most popular foreign artists in Jamaica. In the yes, yes. Foreign, extremely uh, popular. Every, every, A legend every, in every Jamaica. Young, yes. Every young girl would have had heart problems because of Percy Sledge. Yes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're, so we're looking for, for, for a good show. It's a, it's a good lineup. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, apart from Nikisha, you have you know, John Holt. Yes. You have um, people like Nadi Virtual. Jem yes, Brown. the great um, AJ Brown, AJ, is, Brown yes. is also in there. Jem Myers. Jem Myers, yes. of course. And George um, Nooks um, is also in the mix. Of course, you know, AJ is the new lead singer for Third World. Yes. Um, and let's see how that works out. And, you know, uh, people like Bagger Case and, of course, Nadi, um, Nadi and... and Jodian. You know, Jodian. Jodian. Yeah. So yeah. It's, a, it's a good And you've been backing all the locals? No, we're backing, we're back to Percy five times before now. Oh, oh, so you're also backing Percy. Slay. Percy, so you're backing the entire show? The entire show. No yeah. band change then? No, no band change. So it's it's a tight production. Mm -hmm. Okay. And come out and enjoy. Come Wonderful on. news good for, music. for patrons. Wonderful news for patrons. Frankie. Yeah, man, keep, by the way, let me just tell you, um, your show is fantastic. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I appreciate and I think it. The music industry appreciates what you're doing. Yes, oh, do. I, I, I'm happy to hear that. Right. We're trying to impress them, <laughs> as we do the viewers <laughs> worldwide. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice meeting you, Nikisha. Very Looking nice forward to, to, to reporting on all your big stories that will be unfolding yes. folding this year, no doubt. Can't wait for you to see it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stay with us right here on stage when we come back. Alkali. Come over, baby, looking at me. I love this being what you want to try.